I know we've reached the bottom. But what happened to Zora Magdaros? There's no place else for it to go. I think we should split up and look.
she? I thought she'd be with you. I'm going out for another look. No, you're not. <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> uh, right. I was scared to death. All right, easy, easy. I'm just glad that you're not hurt. Thank you. I was planning to hide until it moved on, but, well, <laughs> you saved me the trouble. Now, now, that's enough. Now, we had a deal, don't you remember? Did you learn all you could about the veil? Now, tell me everything. What did you feel out there? I think... I think the Vale is where the monsters come to die. It's their graveyard, and this whole land is a vast ecosystem revolving around it. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Come on. You're right. The Vale is where monsters come to rest. They sense the end and make their way here. Their bodies become nutrients that feed the coral highlands. From death rises new life, which after a cycle returns to the Vale to die again. It's an ecological marvel. One that easily dwarfs any I have ever seen. Yeah. But, have you really considered the important question? What's that? Who's at the heart of it? What monster could serve as the nutrients for a system this large? What's the mystery behind the Elder Crossing? You know the answer. They die here. Bingo! An elder's death is the catalyst. The veil is Zora Magdaros's resting place. Or at least it should be. The clues are all here, but Zora is nowhere to be found. It was drawing in energy, storing it as it moved on. Was it trying to deliver it somewhere? Hmm, I don't know. But I know who might. The first Wyvarians have lived here much longer than us. Seek them out. Look, it's raining life. Only I could live another 300 years. Maybe that would be just long enough to see the end of this changing of the guard. Friends, you go finish this. I want to stay here a while longer. See what death has to give and life has to bring. 